DNA exists in every one of our cells. It's kind of like a cookbook containing a list of recipes for the protein products that a cell needs. A temporary copy of this DNA is made through a process called transcription. This is the equivalent of making a photocopy of one of the recipes from your recipe book. This temporary set of instructions is translated in an aptly called process translation into a functional protein product. This would be the equivalent of following the directions on your photocopied recipe and creating your final delicious meal. But let's focus more on this process called translation. Let's take a sentence from our photocopied recipe or our mRNA molecule and examine it. The sentence reads, cut the pepper's top and throw it away. In translation, I would carry out the actions in the instructions, which is cutting the tops off of these peppers. Now, I only need to do this because I read the instructions in the correct frame. I started with the letter C and I read each letter consecutively. Now, let's see what would happen if I frame shifted while I was reading my messenger RNA. Now, instead of reading it in the normal manner like above, I would read it like so. Cut the pepper, frame shift, stop and throw it away. Now this sentence has a completely different meaning now. Instead of just cutting the tops off and throwing those away, I'm throwing away my entire pepper, which is a completely different action of protein. But now let's look at a real life example. HIV-1's mRNA encodes two different protein products. The first product, GAG, is encoded through normal translation. The second product, gag pol, is encoded through the frame shifting mechanism. This allows for one mRNA molecule to encode two protein products. Better bang for your buck. If frame shifting is found to function in humans, it could completely redefine everything we know about the genome. 